So as you can see behind me, there's like a diagram made out of sticky notes that I was planning on using for my video today, but I've realized it's a little silly and you can't see it very well. It's not necessary for what I'm going to talk to you about, so that was a fun 20 minutes. Today I'd like to talk to you all about bus etiquette. What is bus etiquette, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, it's the right way to act on a bus. If you're like me, and you live in a city area or an urban area, or you're at a school where, you know, they can take you the bus to get to class, you take the bus because I'm lazy and I don't like walking and sometimes it's cold outside. My rules that I'm about to tell you about mainly apply to when it's a really packed bus. And there are some things that you, you just gotta do. Number one, move to the back of the bus where it is empty because it tends to be a little pocket of space where you can go stand. What will happen is there's like this little stairy part. See, it looks stairs. Nope. And there's this area in the back where like no one ever stands. Move back there. The sooner you move back there, the sooner the bus can leave and you can get to where you're going. On a similar note, number two, if there is an empty seat, please sit in it. I don't care where it is. I don't care who it's next to. If the bus is really crowded or there are people trying to get on the bus, sit down. You can do it. Won't kill you. Next up, similarly with seating, if you, there are, you know, normally little two seats. There's the window seat and there's the aisle seat. If you're sitting in the aisle seat and the window seat's open, scoot over. You can do it. You can move. Just open up another spot for a person to go. Don't put your backpack there. Put your backpack on your lap, put it by your feet, doesn't matter. Just move, make room for other people. Number four, if you're standing around, you can also take off your backpack and put it by your feet. It makes room for more people to stand on the bus. Most importantly, number five, if you are standing by the door, and it's very, very crowded in there, there's more people blocking the door, but now people have to get off. Do not do that awkward, oh, I'm gonna press up against a wall and you can scooch by. No, if you were right, that just get off the bus. Get off the bus, and then get back on. And then there's a nice little pathway for all the people who want to get off the bus, because you were so nice and you moved. Main points to gather from this is to move where there aren't people, so more people can be on the bus. Uh, sit down, if you have to and let people leave. Some uh, tips for any bus time, whether it be crowded or not. One, uh, if you're actually not on the bus yet, if you are waiting outside the door, be patient and let the people get off the bus first before you get on it. Know your stop. That's helpful for everybody. And uh, here's my other biggest one, although this is one for just general life. Don't listen to your music too loudly. If I can hear it, it's too loud if I'm sitting next to you. Don't need to, it's not necessary. I don't want to hear your rap. It's always rap. It's, it's, I, it's never anything else. It's always rap. That's it. Take bus, walk, get yourself places. So this here was my unused diagram. I will, I will take you through the bus. You, oh, oh, there's the door. You come in the door. Wave to where the driver's sitting. Walk up past. You can sit in some of these seats or these seats. The yellow marks the bar hanging above the seats where there's things for you to hold on to. Oh, look at all those seats. Yeah, they're great. That's where the another door is. That yellow dot is a pole that people can hold on to and people stand on either side. That's where you should move. Off the bus, if you're standing there. Oh, look, some stairs to the upper part of the bus where there are more seats. And then we get to the back of the bus where no one ever is. Especially those top two corner seats because they're kind of difficult to get in. Sit in them. 